Use footgalaxy.com for your packs, bets, and FIFA bets with FIFA coins. Link is in the description below. What's up guys, Nepenthes here, and welcome to another FIFA 16 Ultimate Team video. I get asked a lot of the time, will we see the women in FIFA Ultimate Team? And the short answer is no. We will not. Based off of what Tuboy and EA have said, um, there's pretty much just not enough uh, leagues and teams of women to create an ultimate team world and you can't mix them with the men because men against women is not allowed. So it's not like they could just add them into uh, ultimate team and, and give you the chance to play the men with the women and especially the way the ratings and stuff work, which we'll explain and talk about through this video. But I thought to myself, what would these women look like, especially the ones on the demo that I've got my hands on, the German and the Americans, what would they look like if they did have an ultimate team card? Now, before we get into this video, if you could drop a thumbs up, that would be absolutely awesome. And let's talk about it. So we've got on the screen now, you've got Morgan, Heath and Lloyd, three Americans uh, from the USA Women's National Team. And this is exactly what their ultimate team card would look like if they had five reputation for international. Um, there is a website, uh, it's called, it's called like literally like foot overall calculator. It's called overallcalc.appspot.com. I'll put a link to that in the description for the video so you guys can go check it out for yourself and, and know that I'm not lying. And what you do on that website is you put in all the in-game stats which we can get from the um, the get head-to-head -head game of the women and then you press calculate and it gives you the exact figures. Now the international reputation changes the overall so I gave them all five star rep because they're all in the national team and the women's national scene is so small that these will be the most reputable women in the national team. So Alex Morgan there would come up as an 84 rated striker. She does only have two star skill moves and two star weak foot, but not a bad striker at all. 81 pace, 81 shooting, 81 dribbling, nice physical, very nice passing. Would probably actually be better suited as a cam, if anything. Uh, Heath, who's been put in as a left midfield, is actually a right midfield in the game, but has the best rating as left midfield, is the only five star skiller in the uh, women's national team for the United States. And Lloyd there is an 86 rated midfielder, looks incredible. And you're probably thinking with stats like these, why couldn't they compare to the men? You know, Lloyd there with really nice pace, really nice shooting. She almost looks like a, a version of Yaya Torre, you know, like just really well-rounded stats. Well, the reason why, guys, is because the stats are relative to women, not to men. So 74 pace for a woman might only be 54 pace for a man, you know, when you consider if you get like the fastest woman and the fastest man would be 99 pace for the man and 99 pace for the woman, the fastest man is still faster than the fastest woman. So they could make the stats relative to make it so that the women are in conclusion with the men as we go into the next screen and take a look at the next American women that we would have here with uh, Sauerbrunn, LaRue and Han Solo, the goalkeeper. But if they did that, then these women would come out with very, very low rated bronze cards. Not all of them, some of them would have silvers, maybe even some low golds, but ultimately you'd have an ultimate team world where the majority of the cards would be bronze and it just wouldn't be fun to play. So until the women's scene grows even more and it is on the up and up and especially with the inclusion of women in FIFA 16, it's gonna be good, but until the scene grows even more, there's never gonna be women in Ultimate Team. I would put, a, a guess, at least five years. So we've got a few more uh, a few more screens to look at, some of the German women as well, and then it's German centre midfield. I, I assume her na name is pronounced Kessler, because it's like Kiesling, where that B is actually a double S. A very nice, well-rounded card, very similar to Lloyd's card, actually. It's got great pace, nice defending and physical, very nice shooting, passing and dribbling. Uh, quite a well-rounded card, and you can see the skill moves and weak foots of these women if you actually go into the FIFA demo. I was told, and I read on EA, that there's a five-star skiller in the German national team and a five-star skiller in the US national team, but I couldn't find them. I could, I could only find Heath from US. I couldn't find the German five-star skiller. Um, the highest rated player that we actually get out of all of these, all of the national team women's, um, would be either Kessler there or the 89 rated Maro Zan. I do believe her now, name is pronounced as a cam. And again, a crazy good card. Really bad defending at 52, but shooting, passing and dribbling, very nice. Pace and uh, physical, very nice. And in general, these cards do look pretty good. So if there ever was a woman's ultimate team, it would be a lot of fun. It would be good to play with. If you guys haven't played with the demo or with the women on the demo, I genuinely suggest you give them a try. It was actually a lot of fun to play with them. I, I would suggest using the German national team if you like skill moves because they have more four-star skillers than the US national team. But the US national team is crazy good and Abby Wambach is unreal unreal in this demo game so give that a try let me know how you get on with the women in fifa thank you for watching this video hopefully you enjoyed it and i'll see you next time i'm out peace